It's moist out here. It's not as bad as it was in Pembroke. We just got back from Lumbee. We took up some time with my daddy. Got a chance to visit some family, and that was cool. Now we're at Cherokee. Remember, this is what I was telling you about. It's got the sing-off between Northern and Southern. There's several groups. They're going through right now uh, an honoring, and they've already done the ties. We're waiting to find out who's going to be in the when the sing-off. This is a good powwow, y'all. Weather this weekend's dope too. It's usually not like that. This is a barn burner. Fourth of July weekend. For those who don't know, this one, one in R. Lee, one in Pendleton. Like there's certain powwows. Fourth of July weekend. If you want to get to a good powwow, it's pretty notable. This is one of those. And so we just happened to be out here helping out Daddy for the weekend and thought we'd come. The group I sing with, the boys, they're here, so I got to see some of my brothers. It's been a little while. This is the first powwow we've gotten to. Hopefully, you get a chance to come to this one. Put it on the list. guys a couple weeks ago we were out in uh look at this look at this i'm not even going celebrity celebrity right here right here he's a bad man y'all he's a bad man tell him introduce yourself my name's kelly cable out here in cherokee north carolina enjoying this beautiful land lead singer <laughs> yep, yep. Who? southern boys drum group. southern boys who I have a playlist of on the channel. <laughs> Check it out. This is a bad man. Have a good one. That's right. <laughs> Kelly can sing, y'all. He don't play. y'all we got shake and bake in the building look he's not shaking bake shaking bake is two people together and we got griddle markel's gonna be shake bake and griddle or he's fry one of the two one of the two hey baby look you see how she's got that native woman stare down look give it to him again say i'll kill you Got a mean stoic woman look down already. Where's the little man? Home. Oh. Mark Hale's got one of the coolest little men ever. Little little he look, he's a dancer too and he's good. Mark Hale, tell him who you are. I'm Mark Hale. <laughs> Tribal affiliation. Uh, Leech Lake Band of Ojibwe, assistant Wafton, Dakota. 
Mark, it was pretty much the perfect native male specimen. He beads, he cooks, he cleans, kinda. He also doesn't mind holding a job. He dances, he can do everything. Number 804-222-3737, call me here. What's up, you good-looking people? Hey, I apologize about the interruption here, but I have no idea what happened to the clip that's supposed to be going right in this space. And so I wanted to give a little info that'll help the rest of the vid make sense. And so this information is coming from a 30,000 foot elevation. We're not going into a ton of detail, but just enough that I think you'll be able to follow along with this next part. You're going to be hearing two songs. One is going to be from the Wild Band of Comanches. The other is going to be from TBZ, The Boys. Now, these are two different styles of singing. One is northern, one is southern. Now, for those of you who have never been to a powwow, you're not familiar with the different styles or categories of singing, this information will help. I know we have a lot of viewers who are either in the States or outside the States that aren't familiar with this. So, easiest way to tell them apart southern singing is going to have you know a deeper more um you know the vocables they're going to be more resonous you're going to be able to hear in the bravado like a deeper sound there northern almost polar opposite that's the info that I want to get across to you. Like I said, 30,000 foot elevation, but it'll make sense as you hear the songs I'm sure in the comments you're going to have some super native come up and I'm going to give you tons of detail on it. That's fine. But for my purposes, I just want to get you back into the vid and explain what the next two songs of sing or that you're going to listen to, what they are. Because both of these groups have won their individual categories on the weekend. They're both going to sing one song so that the judges can pick an overall winner for the weekend. And this is what I actually showed up for. There were several groups, two different categories, tons of winners were picked, but these guys were first in their individual categories. And so I wanted to check this out. It's one of the reasons why I made the drive over. And so I hope you like the songs. They are really good songs. I recorded um, Wild Band and then I handed the camera over to Isaac where he could get the boys. And when I was listening to Wild Band, like when the girls came in, I was like, oh, Crap, this is this is they're gonna be hard to beat. Which wild band they're hard to guard anyway whenever they got the right boys sitting down. They can sing. So I hope you like the songs. They're both really dope. As you're on the channel kind of going through different playlists or whatnot, it's good to know that, right? Southern singing, northern singing, there is a difference between the two, and they're both really beautiful when done correctly. So I hope you like it. Let's get back in.
First place. Bud is the only humble one out of the whole group. I don't know what in the world. They want to draw them too. That's cool. Yeah. They, they want you to take a picture of the group. Okay. And in fifth place, that's Chief. He society. can sing too. If you don't have one of his CDs, Send you want to get up. one. He's got a voice. What? I think he's. I think he's got a master's in music too, or a bachelor's, one or two. This is Cheebus. YouTube. This is Cheebus. Boy, I like that. That's making he's sure. He's actually got the best voice in this place nah, right now. Right you want one of his CDs? <laughs> he ain't playing. She was fire. Look at that. And he goes to the gym. <laughs> jump, jump, boy. Yo, you are in luck that TBZ was singing. That was Jermaine's song. I asked him what he teach y'all really quick. That's it's what the song is. Place. He makes a ton of music, though. He's actually got a CD that's coming. You're going to want that one. Don't miss that one, okay? Tell me. What's going on, guys? Yes, uh, there's like an inner tribal. He's telling all the people to come out and dance, enjoy themselves. 
and uh, just uh, be yourselves when you're out there, you know. And especially, and especially after a pandemic, you know, you want to. Crazy spirit. It's a perfect song for it. So, uh, you want to tell me the words on? Oh, um, yeah, it's like, Wachi Oyate Ke Makaha. So you're saying you're pretty much dancing and having people come and dance on the floor. So and enjoy yourself, sit down there, uh, everybody, everybody, come out and dance, do your thing. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, we're closing this thing out. Time to get back on the road. A few weeks ago, we were up in Four Bears. Now, uh, we're just coming over from Fort Washkie. We were in Lumbee yesterday. Now we're in Cherokee, 4th of July celebration. Western North Carolina is dope. It was a good powwow. Congratulations to TBZ. Congratulations to Wild Band. The sing-off was dope. Hopefully you like both songs and you like Jermaine sharing the words because that's his tune. It was a good weekend, y'all. Look, 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 look. Yo! <laughs> Merv's getting ready to start a channel. And I want you to know Merv's channel will be the dopest channel. Everybody, let me tap on my face. Everybody loves Merv. Tons of personality. Merv. Tell them where you're from. I'm from Minneapolis, Minnesota, but now I live in uh, St. Paul Park. Tribal affiliation. Fond du Lac. I'm enrolled in Fond du Lac, but I got uh, I could be enrolled at Red Lake, Leech Lake, White Earth, like a kind of like a mutt. <laughs> he would be the greatest powwow foodie of all time. He's super picky too, so <laughs> none of y'all would be safe at the food trucks. <laughs>